Hi YouTube, I am back. I was, um, I didn't post anything yesterday <laughs> because I kind of got bombarded. It's so weird how that happens. It's just, um, everybody, uh, like a lot of people just rush in at the same time. But you know me, I take those very serious. Also, I had some technical difficulties with my microphone yesterday. It was a little bit annoying. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Of course, I'm not complaining about um, personals. I really, really am so very blessed. Um, but let's get started here. Let's see what, what we have for each sign here, okay? for Let's start with Aries. What do we have for Aries, spirit guides? What do they need to know? What's coming towards Aries? Twin Flame, Aries. Oh, okay, that changed right away. So we have Twin Flame and Leaving. So someone here is done with their Twin Flame journey. <laughs> it's actually, I, I feel like you have actually let go of a, of a Twin Flame, but it's someone, I feel like you're understanding the twin flame journey let's see give me more of this twin flame that's probably for someone aries your twin flame is the one that is stressing right now yep they're trying to keep themselves busy with work or they're just stressed I feel like you're actually the one that is trying to keep yourself busy, working on yourself. But someone here is stressed over you. Give me more of this leaving. I don't feel like this is you, though. Um, I feel like they are the ones that are stressing. And you're... I feel like you are opening up to uh, more opportunities. You're actually going out there at what? You're a bit confused about this. Not knowing what to do. I spoke too soon. For some of you, you're actually leaving the confusion and the soulmate. No matter how many um, memories there are. It's like, I'm done with this. I'm done with the confusion. I'm done. I'm working on myself. For others of you, you're confused about not knowing what to leave. But most of you, you're leaving. I'm, I just keep getting that. Um, so that is what I'm getting. Let's see. Give me one of their thoughts. The person that Aries is dealing with. Separation. So there is a separation. I had to walk away to find what I deserve. I feel like it's you. And they're thinking about this. Wow, there's still love there, but there's a lot, a lot of silence. Someone is actually starting something new, leaving something behind here. There's been a lot of silence, even though there's still love there, someone's still leaving, okay? But, so that's why they're stressed out about it, because they feel this love as well, okay? I do see a lot of water. I see Earth, Air, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, um, and Aries. That could be you. You're the challenge, you know. Yeah. Okay. So that is what I have for Aries. Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? What's coming towards Taurus? coming to our apology complicated so there's been a very complicated situation that you've been in let's see what do we have for Taurus somebody's wanting to come in let's see what is this apology 
I feel like this person, of course, with the complicated, they're having, it's, they don't know how to apologize. Oh, they're getting the courage, see? They're gaining the courage to come in and apologize. Let's see, give me more. Yep, they want to clear the air. They want to move forward. Um, I feel like this is more about moving forward because in this deck because it's coming in. Give me more of this complicated. Sorry, I explained myself because I still get tarot police. <laughs> on the hunt let's see yep it's been complicated i feel like you taurus it kind of resonates with your astrology right now um because you will be a lot more see they feel very attracted to you there's been a lot of passion a lot of lust but i feel like this person wants to come in before you you know move forward or get start gaining others attention but it's very complicated because it kind of seems like they've been very inconsistent with you. So there's a lot of stress over this apology. Yeah. A lot of stress. Lack of faith. Okay. Aries, Pisces, um, Gemini, Air. Oh, let's get more about their thoughts here. This person's thoughts towards Taurus. This person's thoughts towards Taurus. wear and tear this love is starting to wear on me something has to change so they know i feel like it's them they know that they um it's up to them to change the situation so they want to they're just ge getting the courage to do something about it they're wanting to come back around because if they walked away, they uh, want to turn things around. A turn of events is coming in. So we do have water. We have Sag. Or just a lot of Leo here. Sag. See, someone's stuck. There could have been blockage. Sorry about that, guys. I had to sneeze. Someone is stuck. Um, So there's been a lot of struggle because somebody is just not saying anything yeah so it's wearing them down they're starting to look at things from a different perspective we do have uh fire water sag um leo air or just a lot of fire here okay so that is what i have let's keep going Okay, sorry about that. Let's keep going here. Gemini. What do we have for Gemini, Spirit Guides? What do we have? What's coming towards Gemini? What's coming towards Gemini? Action. promise what i feel like someone's coming towards you gemini um and they want to promise you something let's see what is this give me some more of this action towards gemini yep somebody taking action towards you could be a fire sign but we that is your seventh house so let's see whoever you're dealing with is going crazy without you mm -hmm. i don't know why i have that tone <laughs> give me more of this promise give me more of this promise Somebody here, it's a very strong fire sign, could be a earth sign, but I'm getting here that this person has been thinking a lot about you. They feel out in the cold. They want to message you. They have a vision here. They want to see if you, 
this is somebody that could have been very immature very inconsistent with you yeah immature i was getting immature and we got the six of cups which is kids kind of uh like a childlike um that's the fool but i feel like it i don't know why i was getting um immaturity here for some of you for others of you this person has been thinking a lot about you and they actually do have a vision for you they want something they want to feel close to you again i don't know if this is someone new could be but i feel like it's the past coming to revisit something they're going to be messaging you yep that's the challenge is to move forward expect the unexpected the challenge here is us is communicating with you okay we do have a lot of fire here too um air could be another air but the challenge here could be also your words here because that's what i'm getting um i feel like somebody here is also reading your text messages i don't know why i'm getting that let's see what is it any more for this person that's thinking about gemini slow down there's no need to rush it slow down let's take our time so this person wants to come in and actually just take things as what they are right now um they do want to talk to you but it kind of seems like they slowly they want to get to this they have a vision i keep getting that with this like they have a vision of where they want to be in the next i don't know in the next year in the next five years whatever something like that <laughs> okay so i do have pisces earth fire a lot of fire okay so let's keep going let's see cancer what do we have for cancer what's coming towards them Who's coming towards cancer? They're just wanting to pop out. Toxicity. Somebody that has toxic cancer. Healing. Okay. Are you healing from something? Let's see. Give me more of this toxicity. two i mean i wanted one but okay so someone here this turned toxic because one was not in not as, as invested as someone else i feel like it was you that was more invested than they were so it turned to toxic and this person This person seems like they are out and about, to tell you the truth. Give me more of this healing. I feel like this is you. Two of them came out. Yep, I feel like you have been reminiscing about the past, but I feel like you've also been trying to just clear your mind, heal there is a possibility of a new beginning somebody here is planning to come towards you but um if you're opening your options here cancer then there could possibly be a new beginning someone in coming in from ending from something yeah that's what i feel here with the three of swords there's been a lot of hurt already okay what is this person What's coming towards Cancer, Spirit Guides? What is this person's thought? If you've been healing from something toxic, then there's someone new coming in. Yep. Can we be friends and build from there? See? Somebody here, I feel like it's new. Okay? Someone new. It could be a fire sign or a air sign. Give me more of this friendship. 
See, I told you it was new. Ace of, of Cups. Is somebody wanting to at least start new or start from the beginning. Healing a situation could be or you're healing. But I still feel it's new coming in. After being heartbroken and healing, you're coming into someone else. I feel like it's someone else. But the challenge is to move away from any any stress. Yeah, move away from stress. Someone here also wants to clear the air. Your past wants to message you and kind of um, interrupt your healing. Okay, so be careful with those because I'm getting into storylines. Okay, Cancer. So sorry about that. Okay, so I have Pisces, air, water, um, earth, fire. Okay, wow, so many elements. That is what I have. Check your other placements if it doesn't resonate. Leo. What do we have for Leo? What's coming towards them? Who's coming towards them? Leo. Leo, some temptation. And leaving. Are you leaving a mindset? That's what I'm getting here. Like, or you're someone's temptation. Give me more on this temptation. I feel like you're leaving a mindset for some reason. Like you're changing your mind or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that. So, there is a very strong chemistry uh, or pull into someone you can't stop thinking about or See, can't stop thinking. Somebody here is obsessed with this. Hmm. Give me more of this leaving. There's temptation here. An emperor. Give me more on this emperor. Empress. Wow, Leo. What is going on? So, I'm getting two stories here. Uh, let's clarify. Give me more on this emperor and empress. For Leo spirit guys. Someone's still holding on to you after you've left. Okay? very very strong temptation i mean chemistry i'm not sure what is going on here but it kind of seems like you were leaving like i was saying it was like a mindset it's more of like um energy like you're leveling up or you're going to the next level or you're you're actually yeah i feel that like someone here is stressed tempted to call you in or someone is leaving i hate to say third party but there is some temptation here um, but someone's holding on okay it hurts to let go but sometimes it hurts more to hold on like they see you as the one so i'm not sure if you both are married already could be and someone's leaving but there is a new beginning here for you both yep Someone's, if you've left something, you've became a temptation. They're obsessively thinking about this. And there is a commitment coming, okay? It's coming. It's coming towards you, okay? It's like a, like I was saying, you're leaving one, how do I say, like, you're leaving, like, a, you're closing out a cycle and you're starting again, but in a very good place okay there is potential here for a new beginning with your emperor the empress this is happiness solid someone's still holding on to this idea that you both can still be very happy together wow <laughs> this is you too so we have it could be another leo um earth sign gemini capricorn taurus libra aries could be a Scorpio too. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. 
Okay, so that is what I have. Let's keep going. What's coming towards Virgo? What do I need to know? Virgo. Virgo. Action. Ooh, Gemini's got that. Interesting, because you are both Mercury ruled. Cold. Hmm. Someone's coming in. Why is action here for Virgos? They left you out in the cold, or you've been, or someone's been. Let's see. Wow, e something here is shifting, a turn. Someone's turning back, somebody that you've cut off, that they were acting immature, or someone you just cut off because of their behavior. Well, same difference. <laughs> Give me more of this cold. What is this cold? So someone does feel out in the cold here. Uh, I feel like they they cannot let go after you've cut them off. That's why they're taking action. See action. That's the challenge. I feel like they're also getting that getting the courage to you know come towards you or something like that. Give me more of this um, energy. That's coming towards Virgo. left hanging somebody might have left you hanging that's what wanted a flip let's see give me more on this for virgos or something was unfinished as well wow so this person knows they can have a new beginning there is going to be a potential of a new beginning with you and it could last for a long time i feel like you've been working a lot on yourself and you've cut this person off because you're you're done with the you they have to come to you right correct because i feel like you are ready to start new but there is like this um sense of still you know with left hanging somebody is Wanting to apologize for leaving you hanging without any explanation or somebody wants to ask you out. But they know that they can't come to you with just any excuse or something like that. Okay, so the challenge is to get to this happily ever after. Okay, so we have Taurus, Libra, Earth Signs, mm, Aquarius could be a Capricorn, Leo. That is what I have. Let's keep going. Bur um, Libra. <laughs> what do we have for Libra? For what do we have for Libra? Clarity. Deception. Okay. So something here went bad. <laughs> obviously there is something here somebody that lied to you they want to bring clarity to you okay so let's see what is this clarity yep somebody here wants to reach out they want to have like a equal exchange either just energy could be also that is somebody here is I always now that I know what <laughs> this means it has a different meaning to me so it kind of seems like somebody here is keeping tabs on you if you've been out there trying to keep your options open somebody here is planning on coming through you know um, visiting you reaching out someone's planning on this let's see, give me more of this deception So, I feel like someone here has not been very, very honest with 
either they're the stress I don't know there is something here about stressed stressed about deception Libra this is you it's air sign so it's like you're stressing over somebody that has lied to you stressing about us uh, if they can provide for you um, interesting that's really interesting because I had something I just did a personal it's it has something similar to this so let's see give me more for Libras and I remember because I just got done with it so <laughs> I usually don't remember readings let's see love strike I have been swept off my feet random unexpected amazing so somebody here whoever's coming towards you has had a lot of burdens but there is going to be clarity okay this is a double confirmation confirmation here about clarity someone just you know anything that was burdening you them whoever there's gonna be somebody like kind of confessing their love to you like they know they felt the burden of you not being there or something like that okay so that is what i have i do see earth i see fire and yeah air could be another air sign they the challenge is to work through things see somebody here has been deceptive so working through trust so more air and earth okay so that is what i have let's keep going scorpio what do we have for scorpios here scorpio what do we have for scorpios Twin flame, who got this? I think it was Aries. My first card. Intimacy. Wow, Scorpio, you're gonna be coming into <laughs> I don't know if this is new, but it seems like you're gonna be you're gonna be with your twin flame. There's gonna be intimacy. I'm scared to clarify this. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have for Scorpios? Oh, there's someone that can't let go. Well, I'm feeling like somebody here is wanting this, is is yearning for it, and they're stressed over it. Even though this twin flame could be stressing you out. Give me more of this intimacy. I feel like someone here with twin flame i don't talk about twin flames that much anymore because i feel like there's just a lot of things i have my own beliefs on them and i'm don't want to sh i sometimes share them but anyways there is someone here that you just you probably don't know you're stressed about it you don't even know if this is your twin flame don't believe everything you read on the internet just follow your intuition okay that's all i can tell you with the twin flame just follow your intuition okay intimacy there is someone here coming in i feel like this is going to be a flirt they're gonna keep you in your thoughts a lot but this will be somebody that is actually looking i don't know why i feel like this could be like a learning lesson but okay somebody here wants to apologize they want to make things right with you, but through intimacy. That's what I'm saying. Use your intuition because there is going to be um, emotions, confusion, not knowing if this is your twin or not. Or, you know, so just use your intuition because I do see confusion here when they come in. Let's see what's coming towards Scorpio. I don't know why I started using these uh, for this reading, but. I just did it. I just went with it. <laughs> Let's see what's coming towards Scorpio. No. Longing. 
I'm longing for the other half I have lost. So somebody here is longing for you. Like I told you, yearning. Somebody here is yearning for you. They want to clear the air. They want to apologize. Because they see your value, Scorpio. This is you. Okay. So that is what I have. Earth, air, um, air, Cancer, Pisces, Libra. Yeah, that's what I have here. Okay, so let's, if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements. Okay. What do we have for Sagittarius? What's coming towards Sagittarius? What's coming towards Sagittarius? Hmm, what's coming towards Sagittarius? What do they need to know? Fertility. Oof. <laughs> I always say this just in case you're not planning on having kids. Be careful. But I feel like it's more of... Um, be careful if you're not wanting planning on pregnancy. But um, fertility and clarity. So I, I feel like it's more of a new beginning. Okay, a birth of a new beginning, a birth of a new life, or something here because, um, well, in the Western astrology, that's where we're having um, an eclipse. Well, it's the soul sister, I think, this time. Okay, what do we have it on for Tilly? Your soul sister. Like, which is still affects you. So there is a new beginning. You're leaving something behind. There's a new beginning, I'm telling you. I, I felt it was a new beginning. Give me more of this clarity. You're going to be seeing things a lot more clear. Coming from this um, heartbreak that you've gone through. Yeah. Once you start loving yourself, healing yourself, um, keeping that energy to you and giving it to yourself you're going to start seeing things a lot more clear you're going to vibrate you're going to get on that level of what you're trying to attract okay let's see if you've been doing some self-love it's working because there is a new beginning coming towards you what's coming towards you for sagittarius what's coming towards sagittarius So it could be, give me more on this word, someone from work or someone here from your past wanting to come in and confuse you. It's really up to you if you want to keep your options open. This person is very focused on work. They have been trying to get their life together, I feel, Sanj. This could be a Taurus. But they're trying to get their life together. They've been um, very focused on their goals, their goals, their desires, their goals, their dreams. It's someone from the past for some of you, of course. For others of you, this is a new. You're putting an end to it and you are opening up to your options here. Okay, so somebody who is a businessman could be coming in as well. Could be a Scorpio earth air i mean water air yeah cancer pisces okay that is what i have for sage let's keep going capricorns what's coming towards capricorns what's coming towards capricorns I just had that i'm gonna okay i'm gonna keep it sagittarius just had that <laughs> and i shuffled healing someone else had that too but i feel like there is a new beginning you've been healing you've been 
there is newness coming in if you're not planning on having kids of course i was asked the other day about that why do i keep saying that is because some people don't plan on it um, but just be careful you know but i feel like it's a new beginning with healing here it's like you you've been healing from something now it's time for a new beginning in love i feel so you are moving forward you feel confident you feel like there's movement forward here oh you're leaving something behind something that stressed you out probably or you might be having also money problems capricorn don't worry about it you are moving forward you will receive some kind of you know push from the universe give me more of this healing capricorns i've been getting weird messages for capricorns i don't know why but yeah you have been healing see we i feel like this is the empress and this is an emperor somebody here is coming towards you Mm-hmm. give me more of this emperor this is gonna be somebody that you are going to start new with somebody that is mature oh yeah they're gonna find you very attractive there's gonna be a lot of chemistry between you two but it might confuse you because you might not know if this person is what you want you're gonna i feel like you're gonna open up your options here with these two together i feel like you're you're getting that confidence where you're gonna be also this attraction like people are gonna find you attractive see new beginnings it's i don't what's coming towards capricorn Let's see. what's coming towards capricorn experience? whoa a love offer and see self-love wanted to come out with healing it's you've probably been doing a lot of self-love yep is your heart open to receive my love offer so there's someone coming in i don't know why i feel like it's someone new somebody that's also been like going through some healing phase yep that's why i'm feeling new because of the empress here so look at that <laughs> ace of cups new beginnings again okay um so water pisces uh, it could be an aries earth uh scorpio cancer and aries okay so that is what i have let's keep going okay aquarius what do we have for aquarius check your other placements oh i forgot to say that for capricorns it might not resonate so let's see Aquarius what do we have for Aquarius frequency interesting some of you need to go out there stay grounded or maybe you're gonna be feeling this um, energy coming in this um, celebration wow happiness I'm getting happiness Aquarius let's see give me more of this frequency for Aquarius this frequency for Aquarius okay so Aquarius this could be a, a Capricorn or Taurus but I do feel that somebody here um there is uh, this does not make sense at all because I feel like someone here is stuck on a uh, how do I say it's more of a feeling like you are addicted to a feeling like a feeling of oh it's coming this commitment is coming or yeah like this feeling you're addicted to this feeling uh you feel like everything's great in the world kind of feeling give me more of this celebration maybe you're feeling the 
the energy right now. Oh yeah, there is a wish fulfillment here. There's going to be a reason to celebrate. Uh, why is this Seven of Swords creeping up? Someone here that has been selfish with their love is looking back. Selfish with your their time, their love. They've been probably taking your time, your love. So be careful. The challenge is, is this hurt? Give me more of the Seven of Swords. Be careful the way that this person makes you feel. Okay, stay grounded. Oh, things could actually turn around. Things can actually turn around with this person, whoever's coming towards you. Yep, you're going to be getting over something. Um, the harsh moments or, yeah, a reason to celebrate indeed. So just be careful, okay? It is general. Give me more uh, for Aquarius. What's coming towards Aquarius? Yeah, somebody here is regretting. They want to get over things. They want to actually. But I feel like someone here is stuck. Aquarius, I don't know who I'm picking up on. Is stuck on really wanting this commitment. So be careful. Stay grounded. There is going to be reason to celebrate. Somebody here that has um, broken your trust. Wants to come back and get over things they regret. They have regrets. I regret the things I should have done but never did. So be careful because, well, the, the Seven of Swords is just someone that you just gave a lot to or they stole. Yeah, they want to start all over. Okay, and they might start all over through intimacy as well. So that's why I was telling you stay grounded. There is some intimacy that is happening. But if you really up to you because it can slow down this um, commitment for some of you not all of you or maybe there was something that wasn't there was more intimacy than commitment wise before okay so we have um, the challenge here is to invest in this there's been a lot under the water like there's been too much that happened between you two so the challenge is to make things right or to apologize, I mean. So we have Earth, we have Pisces, Leo, could be a Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Fire. Okay, so that is what I have. Let's keep going. Pisces, what do we have for Pisces? What's coming towards Pisces? What's coming towards Pisces? Completion. Oh, completion. Co competition. Ooh, not a good card. Settling. Ooh, don't settle, Pisces. Competition. You might be looking at others. Others' paths. You're probably ready to settle with someone that probably doesn't even benefit you like it doesn't um they don't bring nothing to the table let's see give me more of this competition so you feel like maybe there's rivals or you're just looking at other people you're too stressed out i don't know who i'm picking up if it doesn't resonate um check your other placements but there's someone here that is stressed out yeah stressed out because there is a need for feeling um this love or wanting this love wanting this dream wanting of want mm -hmm. give me more of this settling so much that you kind of want to settle with whoever you know like mm, that shouldn't be a reason to settle trust me Okay, so I feel like you're thinking about this. Am I settling? You're having your thoughts. 
Why do they get the happily ever after? Why is it that I can't have this stability? Am I settling? Is this person going to be able to offer me this stable commitment, this proposal, this happy ending, this... Um, are they going to be able to provide for me? I want somebody that provides for me, that um, offers, proposes to me in a very healthy way. I wants to grow with me. You know, you are actually in your thoughts about this, I feel. Give me more of this, Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces? Choices. So, I do feel that you're trying to make the right choice here, okay? Give me more. I feel like this is, of course, you. You don't want to regret what's what could come tomorrow. Oh, Pisces. Yeah. You don't know if you should end this and just take care of you or you should wait. There could be something unexpected coming towards you, but I feel like it's more of you needing to make a, dis a good decision, Pisces. This is all about you. This is all about you. You need to make a decision to clear the way for something new and really think about you first. Okay? Make a good choice and start loving yourself. Start taking care of your yourself. But... There is potential of maybe even something good coming into your life. Your emperor, your empress, doesn't matter. Okay, so that is what I have. I have Scorpio, Cancer, could be um, another Pisces, Air Signs, Taurus, Aries, Earth. Yeah, the challenge is to... Wow, don't give so much. There's not an equal give and take with you and someone else, okay? So be careful. Okay, that is what I have. Thank you so much. And take care of you. Bye.